that's in line with you know what we've been hearing that you know arrests are up and then this whole concept that uh, the, they're no longer going to hold off on processing collateral uh, arrests so you know the idea that uh, uh, if we encounter uh, people other than whom we're looking for and we ask them about their status and we find out they're undocumented we're not going to hold off on picking them up I mean that's that's essentially what um, uh, Homeland Security Secretary said was going to happen so I guess it's not surprising to hear that that the numbers are going up um, under the Obama administration uh, there were guidelines that were issued that were supposed to delineate the priorities that the that the administration was considering when deporting people uh, that had removal orders uh, and uh, the administration would say that you know we're going to prioritize people that have criminal uh, records, people who are repeat immigration violators, people who are recent uh, arrivals. So, you know, they, they were going to kind of uh, put lower on the priority list people who arrived a long time ago and maybe accumulated equities here in the United States, kids, spouses. Um, so the incoming administration has indicated that they're no longer following those guidelines um, and uh, that basically we're going to start removing people who have removal orders. I've heard certainly of some high-profile cases where DACA uh, recipients were uh, uh, arrested uh, and uh, detained. I understand that there are still DACA renewals that are, are being processed and people getting their work permits. So the DACA program so far has survived, although, you know, President Trump did say that he, you know, well, I guess he, at, at one point he said he was going to get rid of it, at another point he said, you know, he wanted to do something for these, for these folks without going into specifics. So uh, it remains to be seen what's going to become of the DACA program or, or the people that are um, sort of targeted uh, for benefits in the DACA program, if there's going to be another program that will, will come in its place.